Hi, this is Chloe here at MagicalWellness.co. For today's tapping session, I've drawn the Five of Swords from the Hidden Realms Tarot with fabulous artwork by Julia Jeffrey, and I think it was written by Barbara Moore. Um, so, as you can see, this is a little bit of an unusual depiction. We don't see a second figure sort of walking off looking smug. It's much more about feeling under attack, perhaps, and yet there's no one else in sight. So those attacking thoughts that swoop down on you and peck away at you, they're all in your own mind. These are the negative things that we say to ourselves, the negative things that we think about ourselves. That's what I see in this card today, anyhow. And um, yeah, it can make you feel quite defensive and just not good enough. I mean, you know, look at that look on her face of, I don't know, a little bit almost terror. Uh, certainly, you know, she feels under attack and she isn't feeling good. <laughs> so, um, I'd like you to think about how much you feel that, how much you notice that you're perhaps saying nasty things to yourself inside your own mind, that you've got loops of, you know, perhaps voices from the past, or perhaps you just recognise it as your own voice saying, oh, you can't do this, or you didn't do that very well, or God, why on earth do you do that, or what did you say, or any of those kind of critical thoughts, you always do this, you never do that, can't you ever get it right? Negative critical thoughts that go round and round and flap about all the time and attack us. So think about how much that is true for you at the moment. Perhaps think about some of those thoughts in particular. And um, you might want to rate the intensity on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is that you feel completely calm about it and there's no negative self-talk. And 10 is those voices just won't stop. Um, so see where you are on that scale, and then we're going to do some tapping about that. So let's make a start. So just follow along if you feel like, and if anything doesn't feel right to you, you can substitute your own words. Even though I have all this negative self-talk going on, and I keep telling myself that I'm not good enough, and criticising the things that I say, criticising the things that I do, criticising the way that I feel, criticising myself. And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all these thoughts and ideas whirring around in my head, and they're not very nice. And I... I'm very good at seeing the negative in myself and perhaps also in others and I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this negative self-talk and it's going round on an endless loop, thoughts about what I've done wrong or said wrong Thoughts that tell me that how I feel just isn't right or isn't good enough. And I love and forgive myself anyway. Tapping around the points, following along. All this negative self-talk. And I find it so easy to think about what I've done wrong to criticise myself for the things that I've said or not said, to berate myself for the things that I've done or not done, to be judgmental about how I look, how I feel. All this negativity that I pour out on myself. And I'm open to the possibility that maybe I could let some of that go. That maybe I could be a little bit kinder to myself. And I'm open to the possibility 
that I could show myself compassion. And maybe I deserve some of this criticism. And maybe I don't. And maybe I would do better if I spent less time criticising myself. But I'm not going to make that into a criticism. So even though I have all these negative thoughts, and I find it so easy to be judgmental, I'm open to the possibility of letting that go. And it's easy to be critical. It's easy to be judgmental. That little voice in my head that says that I've done everything wrong. That voice that says I'm not good enough. That voice that compares me to others. That voice that compares me to an idea of perfection. All this judgment and criticism. And perhaps I can let it go. And place your hands over your heart, take a deep breath in and say transform. So take a moment to see how you're feeling now. You might want to go through this tapping session again or perhaps tap for yourself, follow around the points, say the things that are actually what your voice inside is saying because tapping while you say it helps to start to release it all. So I wish you a week with far less self-criticism and self-judgment. Blessed be.